Hi, and welcome to HTNR Home Theater News Review for the week of November 20, 2023. I'm your host, Todd Anderson, editor of the Home Theater Forum at avnirvana.com, coming to you from our nation's capital on another chilly morning, just a few days before the best eating holiday of the year. That's right, folks. Thanksgiving is just a few days away. Today, AV Nirvana staffer Travis Ballstad is dropping in to chat about what's happening in his world of reviews, what he's listening to on vinyl, and he'll give you a chance to help decide what he's going to review next. So definitely stick around for that. This show is available on YouTube, but also in podcast form on both Spotify and iTunes. So please subscribe on those platforms. And if you have a moment, leave a review or a comment as that helps us out. Like always, you can find more details about most of these stories along with movie disc reviews and equipment reviews right on our Home Theater Forums homepage at avnirvana.com. And that goes without saying, our forum is a great place to comment on and discuss every Everything under the home theater sun. So come and become a part of our community. As a reminder, we have a new giveaway contest underway. This one features a 10 meter Bridgie 8K fiber optic HDMI cable shipped direct from Bridgie. That's their flagship offering. You can find an HDMI test bench review of that cable series on our forum homepage and our YouTube channel. So definitely check those out. This cable has a value just shy of $300 and will be a great option for anyone looking for long run HDMI performance. So head over to avnirvana.com and enter. Alrighty, let's dig into some of the bigger news stories of the last week, starting off with a little something that should please movie fans around the world. I know it definitely pleased this guy, James Cameron. His hit films, True Lies, Aliens, and The Abyss will all land on disc in 4K in the coming year. All three films will be released on digital platforms in 4K on December 12th of this year, so you can expect to see them on services such as Prime Video, Apple TV, and Vudu. We have not received official confirmation of this, but we'll likely see the Blu-ray and 4K versions of those films appear on Kaleidoscape at the same time. And then, folks, the wait for disc collectors is on as 4K UHD and Blu-ray digipacks are slated to begin shipping on March 12th, 2024. According to Cameron's Lighthouse Films, the 4K transfers of each of these releases will be presented with Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos Audio. I mean, look, we've been waiting for a long time for The Abyss and True Lies to see the light of day on Blu-ray, let alone 4K, so this is definitely exciting news. Dirac and German brand Sonoro have announced a new partnership that brings Dirac Live Room Correction to the company's new Maestro Quantum receiver. At launch, the Maestro Quantum will support Dirac Live Room Correction Limited bandwidth with an option to upgrade to full bandwidth via Dirac's web store. The Maestro Quantum is pretty interesting high-res audio receiver that gives owners access to streaming services, external sources, including uh, vinyl. So if you're a big fan of vinyl records, this one has got you covered. And compact disc playback using an onboard CD player, which is pretty cool. There's a little slit on the front, not a tray, but this accepts CDs, which I think is a, a neat little twist. It natively supports services such as Spotify Connect and Deezer along with access to over 25,000 internet radio stations. It also delivers device to receiver streaming via AirPlay, Google Chromecast, and Bluetooth. The Maestro Quantum sells for 1,400 euros, which converts somewhere in the neighborhood of $1,600 US. And for our friends across the pond, that's 1,225 British pounds. Brett Bjorquist, owner and principal at MarketMaker, has launched a new YouTube channel called Facnatics. That's F-A-Q-Natics. Brett is widely recognized as a brand ambassador, marketer, and a trainee expert. On his channel's first live stream that happened just this past Thursday, he hosted a lively chat about his new venture and home theater. With the help of the faces behind AV Nation, Youth Man, Giles McCoy, Brightside Home Theater, Brolic Media, and, of course, AV Nirvana. 
Bjorkwist says his channel is dedicated to addressing a diverse array of frequently asked questions by a team of fanatics who love educating people about various topics. Future streams will cover lots of different topic ranges from technology and home theater to things such as lighting control and automated shades, even performance cars, watches, liquor, finance, and general household tips. Hopefully we can convince Brett to work the crazy world of collecting and playing pinball into the mix. Brett, if you're out there listening, I'd love to talk about it. According to Bjorkwist, Factnatics aims to distinguish itself by not just offering opinions, but seeking the factual truth source directly from engineering, manufacturing, and other expert authorities. I'll drop a link in the description to the channel. I highly encourage all of you to go and subscribe to uh, Factnatics and participate in future streams. Focus Fidelity, a software package that analyzes room and loudspeaker characteristics to create filters that fine tune an audio signal for better sounding playback, has announced a Mac OS version of its software that is available now. According to the software's author, David Broadhurst, it will run on either Intel or Apple Silicon, and the release includes a couple of really interesting little improvements. I'll drop a link to our news story about this release that includes uh, pricing information and links to how you can find uh, the software right down in our description. And I'd like to mention that Focus Fidelity is a valued sponsor of avnirvana.com. So please take some time and go and check out what they have to offer. iFi Audio has a new flagship battery-powered DAC headphone amplifier. Building upon its popular Diablo design, the new IDSD Diablo 2 sports the same portable form factor found in its predecessor, but offers a range of enhancements, including Bluetooth connectivity with Aptex lossless support, which they say is a first in the world of portable DAC headphone amps. The IDSD Diablo 2 2 is available now from a range of different online retailers for $1,299. I'll drop a link to uh, that product on Amazon in the description. Axpona has announced its 2024 dates. Once again, the audio show is returning to Schaumburg, Illinois, and the dates are April 12th through 14th. Uh, that is for next year, 2024. Stick around until the end of this podcast, and I'll give you a discount code to save on tickets. Sharp has launched its first OLED Roku TVs, available in 55 and 65 inches. The TVs utilize LG Display's WOLED panels, offering 4K resolution with 120 hertz performance. Both models are currently available for $400 off, landing at $1499 and $1999. And folks, I believe those are actually the launch prices. Uh, right now, there are some Black Friday prices that are bringing those TVs down even lower. Check down below for links to that. I do believe you can find the 55 inch version for around $1299, which is a screaming hot deal. Okay. It's time to toss this one over to the left coast and the Seattle area where we find our own Travis Ballstad. Thanks, Todd. Hey, everybody. It's been a little while since I've since I've checked in with any reviews other than, we, you know, we've been enjoying our our Popsmith popcorn. It's been an interesting time here. I'm joining you from down here in my theater, um, which ironically, we haven't uh, haven't had a lot of time to spend down here because we have a new new puppy in the house and he's kept us busy and not watching as many movies as we'd like however the timing has been uh, actually kind of perfect because i've had these new bowers and wilkins 607 s3 bookshelf speakers uh upstairs in the the two channel setup um for review um which up there it's primarily vinyl but i also have my blue sound node connected up there um but we've been swapping back and forth between these and the riga rs5 speakers that we normally have uh in the room up there um you may remember last year i upgraded to the the riga planar 6 turntable with an exact cartridge um this year i swapped out the speakers to riga speakers which led us to the jolita tube integrated amp um i was happy to get that back out of out of storage and in use again because that's just a great unit um and then speaking of upcoming reviews 
Um, we also this year swapped out and added a Riga Aria Mark III Phono preamp, which has just really opened everything up up there. So we've been swapping back and forth between the Riga Speak Towers and these Bowers and Wilkins 607S3 bookshelves and have been really, really impressed. These are, it's a, a five inch uh, mid base module here and I think it's a one inch, um, it's their new titanium dome tweeter on these. So you can look forward to seeing that review coming up soon. Again, the review on the, the Riga phono preamp and speaking of our new puppy here he is um but you know also the thing that's been fantastic listening to so much vinyl up there recently has been just some like so many new new great pressings like the uhqr pressings of all the steely dan catalog really that's just a fantastic record there i've got one of the other ones plus some miles davis and john coltrane so a lot of really good stuff been cleaning them speaking of upcoming reviews again have a, a humming guru ultrasonic record cleaner that i'm gonna i've been cleaning a ton of stuff with and we'll we'll check in with that soon on the theater front, I've added a, a Lumigen Radiance Pro video processor. So we'll likely have something on that coming up soon as well. So if you have opinions or thoughts and or want to want to push something up in the rotation, the Bowers and Wilkins will be coming up first. But after that, if you've got a recommendation of what you'd like me to uh, review next, everything else is stuff that I've purchased. It's not anything that's been sent out for review. So I can kind of control the order myself so uh if you have requests drop them in the comments below here on avnirvana.com back to you todd and thanks so much for the update travis definitely looking forward to watching your final review of the bowers and wilkins speaker and look congrats on the new little woofer in your household hopefully he's keeping his teeth off your gear all right, AV Nirvana disc critic Michael Scott, he has issued another big week of reviews. This guy just does not stop. He has reviewed the Equalizer 3, Terms of Endearments, Expendables 4, and The Fugitive all in 4K. He also reviewed For All Mankind Season 1 and the Equalizer 3 movie collection on Blu-ray. If you're looking for thorough disc reviews from one of the best movie minds out there, Mike has got you covered. He really knows what he's talking about. There's a link to all of his reviews in our Blu-ray and media review form section below. Go give him a read and let the community know what you think about these releases. And to wrap things up, it's time to talk deals. As promised, the Axpona code is INSIDER24. So go buy tickets. And at checkout, type in Insider24, that is I-N-S-I-D-E-R-2-4, all caps. That will give you 10% off single and multi-day passes. For our disc deals of the week, you can currently score Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves on Blu-ray for $9.99 and in 4K for $14.99. House of the Dragon Season 1 in 4K is now $24.99, which is 50% off, and that series would make a great gift this holiday season. And the newly minted 4K re release of The Others by the Criterion Collection, that's also 50% off, and that will set you back about $24.99. And of course, we can't talk discs without talking Kaleidoscape. They also have some smoke and hot deals going on right now. You can score the first four films from The Hunger Games in 4K as a bundle for $34.99. I had to partake in that one myself. I have not seen those films in 4K yet. They also have a whole host of animated classics. We're talking the likes of Frozen, The Little Mermaid. You get the idea. A lot of those films are on sale right now for $14.99. So head over to Kaleidoscape.com to check it out. As for other deals, look, folks, it's the week of Black Friday. Cyber Monday is coming up, so deals are literally everywhere. Just wanted to remind you that right now at AtlanticTechnology.com, they're having a big sale. And at checkout, if you use the code Nirvana, you can get an additional 15% off any product, even if it's already on sale. Um, you know, aside from that, 
all you need is your Google machine and you can pretty much get a deal on anything your little heart desires. Here's a couple of little highlights that uh, I thought were notable right now at projectorscreen.com. You can land a JVC NZ8 projector for $2,000 off. You can get the flagship NZ9 for $3,000 off. And as for the NZ7, you might remember at Cedia that JVC dropped pricing on the NZ7. So that, that pricing is uh, holding steady right now at $89.95. I'll drop links to those over at projectorscreen.com right down in the description. Oh, also at projectorscreen.com, you can score Denon's 9.4 channel X4800 receiver for $624 off list. That means you can land one of these on your doorstep for $1875. That's native 9.4 performance with 11.4 onboard processing so if you have an outboard two-channel amp you can rock a large 7.4.4 atmos setup of course there's going to be a link to that right down in the description go get one of those if you need a receiver that's a really great deal all right home theater fans that's all i have for you for the week beginning november 2023 i look forward to seeing all of you on the forum at avnirvana.com